I'm here on the beautiful Isle of Man in the middle of the Irish Sea and today we're going to explore the science of water wheels. And behind me is the 22 metre tall Laxi wheel, the largest working water wheel in the world. This wheel is over 160 years old and was built at the height of the Industrial Revolution as a way to pump water out of the Laxi mine shafts. This mine was an integral part of the island's economy and at its peak it employed up to 600 people and produced 20% of the British output of lead, zinc and copper. And the trouble with digging deep holes in the ground is that any water likes to run in and fill the hole up. And so the mine's engineers had to find a way to keep pumping all of this water out. And they certainly dug a lot here. The vertical mine shafts from here are almost 500 metres deep. So imagine the amount of energy required to continually keep pumping all that heavy water out. So where could all that energy come from? There wasn't any coal available on the island. However, one thing they do have an abundance of here in the Isle of Man is running water. And so they built this huge machine to harness all that hydrological power. And I have to say, I do find something rather ingenious by solving the problem of excess water by using more water. Water from local streams are fed into a pipe that leads into the top of the wheel. The water then falls from the pipe into the buckets. And this makes the wheel rotate in what is described as a reverse direction, known as a backshot wheel. This crank turns the circular motion of the wheel into horizontal motion and as it completes a revolution, the rod moves back and forth a total of 2.5 metres. This horizontal motion is then turned into vertical motion down into the mine shafts. So from a physics perspective, this wheel is simply a machine that takes the gravitational potential energy in the falling water, turns it into rotational energy and then into more useful straight line kinetic mechanical energy. When it comes to machines though, it's more useful to think of them in terms of their power. And power is just the measurement of the rate at which a machine does its work, how much energy it uses per second. Same as you would calculate the speed of a car in terms of its distance travelled per hour, you calculate the power of a machine by dividing the change in energy by time. The standard unit of power is known as a watt. However, for large machines like this, they're usually referred to in terms of horsepower. One metric horsepower unit is defined as the power required to raise a mass of 75 kilograms of one meter vertically off the ground in one second, which equals 735 watts. And the Laxi wheel is estimated to put out around 180 horsepowers when she's in full swing. And this is the formula to calculate the horsepower of a water wheel. I know it looks stressful, but it's actually surprisingly simple because the only operation you're using is multiplication. So this means that if you increase or decrease one of the factors, then the power increases or decreases proportionally. The head is the distance the water will fall. The flow is the volume of water the wheel will capture, and gravity is the acceleration due to gravity. The efficiency of a water wheel is a measurement of how much of its input energy is successfully converted into output energy, and the Laxi wheel's excellent design means it's over 80% efficient. So just why is the Laxi wheel so damn big? Well, as the formula before showed, the greater the distance the water has to fall, the more power is generated. And so the bigger the diameter of the wheel, the more gravitational potential energy there is to capture from the water. So I guess the saying is true, bigger is better. Modern hydroelectric dams like the Hoover Dam are arguably the giant descendants of a water wheel because they too take advantage of the movement of water flowing downhill. Dams are an enormous storage of water's gravitational potential energy, which is then captured as it channels through turbines which spin and generate electricity. Today, hydroelectric power provides almost 17% of the world's electricity supply, which is great news because it's a very sustainable and non-polluting source of energy. And to think, it all started out with a humble water wheel. Thanks, Laxon Wheel.